It's the world we live in. We'll continue fighting for his rights to uh, provide his type of companionship. Because I like snakes. Snakes are pretty cool. Yeah, snake friends. Snakers! There's a snake called Snakers. Okay, so... That's a door. The door going. Okay, oh, oh, alright. That's Chamber of Sin. Hey, Legal Eyes! What's up, man? It's okay to lurk as much as you want. I mean, I've been talking to myself for years, so this is like nothing new for me. Probably shouldn't say Just that. In time. But hey. <laughs> ah, there you are. Ready to revisit the past? The more you kill, sim. the more you change my map. And sim. the closer we get to finding the temple in the present day. Every Just incursion needs proper preparations. Okay, so... Aquat Architect of Corruption. Kill this architect to upgrade this room to a warehouse. Which is what I want to do. There's symbols. Jutalati Architect of the Horde. Kill this architect change this room to a corruption chainer. Max is, oh, reduces players' maximum resistance throughout the temple. Contains chest full item. Oh, okay, so it actually tells you what to do. But they said the more severe... It's time. Okay. Alright, so... We don't want to kill that guy over there. We want to kill... Okay, so... I want to go... I go that way. I want to come around here. That's a passage stone. So, what we need to do is kill this guy. Passage. Okay, so that's the cellar. Oh! Good job, Exile. That was garbage, but whatever. Glad you got some more viewers going. I stopped by today. Watch you, watch him play some. Uh, oh. Just had the name of the game on my phone. He <laughs> completely got it. Like, <sighs> yeah, the maps are huge in this game. I just do not multitask well. By the way, who were you playing with uh, Legalized earlier? Einar's with us. Cool. Do not worry, little beast. We are friends now. So your friends was oh respected oh. Uh, and if you're talking about something completely different, I have no clue about modern lingo. 
I mean, if you stay stuff like wicked, cool, and awesome, I'm good to go. Other than that, I gotta look it up on the net. Do not worry, little beast. We are friends now. Do I know you? You can Eyes. I'll lend you my strength, ally. What do you like? No. Again. What is left to fight for? God must. Okay. Oh, respecto, gotcha. Do you got their, uh... Twitter and... Because like, you can post links in here, so... You can, uh... Twitter and Twitch. I'm telling you, trying to think and breathe at the same time is hard for me, so... I'm afraid <laughs> the only option here for me... Is you We're honor the way you. by swiftly delivering death to warriors. I must confess, well. I believed you. Consider us even. Salah. There it is. See chaos. Oh yeah, I already follow you on. Uh, I think I do. I follow you on Twitter. I should I try to get both. The home following. All right, I will. No, I don't. All right, so I will have to take care of that after stream as well. So much to do. Every day. It's always fun, though. Something new every day. Okay, strength and dexterity. I can just maybe. That there. That, that, that. All that's going to fire damage. Oh, they called. It no good. Twitch, okay. You gonna post the uh, any links to your account, or post any links and whatnot on your Twitch account? Which critical damage. We got one more beast. Okay, cool. An exhilarating hunt, Exile. Now, it is time for Einar to go to Einar business. All right, Einar. You take care, man. Stay off that uh, fermented tree sap, though. Starting to sound a little loopy. It's been a. Oh, I don't think I've actually played a competitive shooter like Black Ops in years. I mean, the closest I've come to Destiny, but I wouldn't even to, like kind of compare that. It almost, it almost seems like I'm insulting Black Ops by even saying that. <laughs> yeah. seem like two totally different kind of beasts when it comes to games. So, Modern Warfare 2. Yeah, I'm actually, uh, I get, what would you call Anthem? Is, is that like an FPS 2 or that Don't different? Don't expect our previous dealings to save you now. Beasts. We can settle this other ways, like before. A huntress who doesn't know her environment. 
I appreciate it. Because I think the next game that I would be interested in that vein would be Anthem. But again, like I said, I'm not sure if mentioning Anthem is a good thing. The same breath as yeah. Oh yeah, the Division Two. That looks. I liked the Division. I put. I, I dropped a couple hundred hours in there. Uh, Dion, he's the one who got me into the Division. So that was pretty fun for a while. And it even had a decent story. It just they need to they never seemed to follow up on the story. And that that was kinda annoying. Like they missed an opportunity there. Random rarity. Click that. Boop, boop. That would that would be cool. I mean I hopefully it isn't a gazillion freaking dollars. Games nowadays are just getting stupid expensive. I mean, to be honest, Destiny 2 is like the perfect example. Every time they put a expansion and DLC with the damn thing, it costs a gazillion dollars more. You can only buy it with the expansion until the price goes up. So many things done wrong with that release. Out on a rampage. I'm an RPG guy, though, at heart, so I think, uh, Hopefully Anthem's good. I mean, that would be nice. That would be a nice surprise because I've, I got my reservations. You know, so. It looks good. Hopefully it has that... Uh, Because how they treated the, uh, God, uh, the Mass Effect series, I was really upset with that. You could tell that it was like an afterthought and that they were focusing on other things. So the Mass Effect series had to suffer for it. Hi, Lord Ralkesh. And but lowly outlaw scum, yet you have got a thousand faces and looked at me and deemed me worthy of your cause. I've offered willingly my flesh and blood. You shall now have my thoughts to use as you fit. I only ask that you let me serve forever as one of your holy claws. Allow me to bring the light of your belongings to this whole bloody continent. My greatest desire is to see your ancient kingdom made in your enemies' power and fear. Oh, oh, yeah, keep, keep that to yourself, remember? <laughs> Apparently some streamers have gotten banned then had their whole EA library deleted and locked out of because they made comments or, in, in worst case scenarios, actually streamed parts of the alpha for <laughs> Anthem. Uh, first anthem, uh, first Dragon Age is definitely a gold, a gold standard. If you ask me, 
for certain types for that game type. So, uh, because it, it does have that massive amount of customization for how you combat. But it was also the start of, hey, let's uh, microtransaction everything. Remember on release, they had a microtransaction? <laughs> you know, you can get the, uh, the keep. Got a, and there were some other things. When you try to control it. Oh. Soul Valkyrie. 25 reduced physical damage over time taken while moving. Oh, it's a dot. Oh, I think I'll stick with flasks. Well, yeah. I mean, at the time... Yeah, but the trend now is the microtransaction or, D, uh, you know, turn everything into... D I, I miss expansions. You know, when they actually put out tested, well thought out, good content that expanded on the story. You know, because then they had to do some writing and everything. Because DLCs, I feel like, never expand really on the story very much. Unless it's like a continuous online game or whatnot. An MMO of some type. If it's a like single player or standalone kind of like thing that you can you co-op with, it's all about the DLC, which totally turns it into a different type of game. Every time you do a DLC, or if you uh, have content in your DLC that pretty much turns anything that's in the base game. No matter how hard the difficulty that your game has into a all I do is hold down this button and sleepwalk through the game. No, I don't like that. Yeah, they don't even most all I can say is like well in companies like C D Project Red is about the only example that I've played. I know there's probably other ones out there that... And that was The Witcher 3. A few issues on day pa uh, on day launch, but... Overall, great quality. Their uh, DLCs actually expanded on the story. And that lets you give you more information. Didn't break the core game base game with any changes that it had. You know, stuff like that is nice. That's why everybody loves them. Now, I'd like to say Rockstar Games too, but all they care about is their microtransactions, really. And but apparently Red Dead Redemption 2 was really good. I, I did like the story in Red Dead Bridget. I will not lie. I, I didn't play it myself, but I enjoyed watching other people play that on stream. In Arthur Morgan's story. Because, you know, he started as a kid in the life that he had. So he knew nothing else. He grew up being a part of it. And only later in life did he realize he could do things differently. Because he wanted to also do things differently. But life had no intention of letting him to be able to live that way for the rest of his life or to live that way except for in a very short time and that that was really sad i choose you should have given them the red main treatment you should have given them the red main treat i guess it's time to play it spying really liked arthur morgan finally realizes he doesn't have to live his life the way he does but by that point it's too late he, he's dying 
dark hair and more about helping folks and changing things for the better instead of just bettering himself. Unfortunately, Dutch never never learned that, and that's why at the end Dutch always felt like everybody just betrays him. Because at the end of the day, he doesn't really do anything for anybody else, just himself. And I just realized I've been talking, and that might be all spoilery for some folks. My bad. Damn, there was really nothing in that thing? I guess not. <laughs> nothing my character wanted. Oh damn, I leveled again. Chatting away and just time's flying. And I go... Okay, I go to the top. Gotcha. Uh, that there. That back there. Ah! To be honest, I don't think I can play Red Dead Redemption myself, or any kind of like. I just have a hard time playing a game where the protagonist is all about destroying people's lives in one fashion or another. I don't mind playing games of redemption, you know, just as long as you're not making me go out and beat people up for money and stuff like that. My character's already done all that. They realize how screwed up that was. And now they're trying to travel a road of redemption and get better, like uh, Red Dead Redemption 1. So he had already, you know, made his bad choices and everything like that. He was hired by the government to do his thing. By the way, spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. If you're hearing this about, uh, if you're listening to this on YouTube, because it will be posted up later. But he uh, already did his badness. Decided he wanted to change and was going to do all that, so Red Dead Redemption 1's all cool to go, right? So, I could play that kind of game. I just don't like playing bad guys and murderers and stuff like that. It just doesn't suit my moral compass very well. I guess being a bad guy and a murderer is pretty much what you do in any video game nowadays, anyways. Depending on whose perspective you're looking at looking at it from pretty sure all the animals around here ain't no happy about what I've been doing to them I'm gonna kill you, gonna eat your soul oh. one less twisted intellect perverting our world there is still much to be done but at least we can rest easier in the knowledge that Melagaro and his foul creations will trouble Rayclass no longer here I know that you and Groost didn't see eye to eye, but I'm sure he would have wanted to recognize this deed. It's the act of a warrior, after all. Yes, oh. I thank you. Though I loved him, I know Groost was lost to me the very moment he touched that vile abomination. I will weep over his passing for many more nights to come. But I am happy that you avenged his honor and freed him from his torment. There's an Asmeri shrine tucked away in the northern forest. Groost took me there, told me it was a memorial to those who had gone before him, a place where their spirits could rest. When he passed, he wanted his remains to be laid to rest with the bones of his people. His body. I find it difficult to even think about it, but I doubt it will ever be recovered. Yet there might still be a way. He gave me his necklace, the fangs he earned when he rose from boyhood to manhood, handed it to me for safekeeping only moments before... before Relakish. It's almost as if he knew what was to come. Please, could you deliver this necklace to the shrine for me? Put Groost's spirit to rest? I would do it myself, but the journey to the northern forest is not what it was. These lands have changed, and not for the better.
farewell. What you tell me of Silk, this I understand, though I do not want to. I have spent many nights pondering Silk's journey, why he has stepped from the spirit path. Now I know. He has walked into the eight arms of blind lust, Arakali. Silk is a warning to us all. He is trying to take the short trail to greatness, to the story Spirit has made for him. Silk tries to steal his story, but now he holds only a lie. Please, you must find the place where this Arakali sleeps in her web of shadow. You must stop Silk before he wakes her. A mistake that we all will come to regret. The spirit tells me this is so. Yeah, got a war, got a boy. True to you. <laughs> Did somebody do like a counter on that? How many times he said boy? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that's that's the bad that's the bad dad part. You don't call him boy except for every once in a while when you want him it is attention, but I guess the kind of life Kratos lived. Spoilers and more. By the way, if you watch any of my videos from here on out, there'll be spoilers about anything and everything. And especially if it's like an older game, I mean, just you're gonna have to deal with it. But uh, yeah, calling your calling your kid boy all the time probably not the best way to endear him to you. You truly are a hero of the modern age, succeeding where even the ancient Val could not. <laughs>